Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Test Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published my first video explaining what is this new cloud-based test automation tool, right? Provided by Tricentis. And I have already given you the introduction to this particular cloud-based testing tool, right? And then I also told you how can you register to this new Tricentis test automation product, right? So this is our lesson two, where I'm going to teach you about the modules and the XCAN launcher of your Tricentis test automation. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, modules and XCAN launcher. So modules are fundamental building blocks of automated test steps in TTA. So whenever I refer TTA, it's a Tricentis test automation cloud-based tool. Okay, so you create these modules by investigating the individual screens of your system under test or of your system under test application. And these represent the individual pages of an application interact with certain, sorry, of an application. Okay, so you can reuse these modules, whatever the modules you create, right? You can reuse them anytime you want to interact with certain page to automate. And then to create module, you need to navigate to test cases builder icon showing on the tool and then you need to click on new module and then it starts its launcher and it starts scanning the controls okay so now let me jump onto the system and show you how can you create modules and then how can you launch your xcan launcher in the new cloud-based Tricentis test automation tool. So this is my Tricentis test automation cloud-based tool. Okay. And I, in my previous session, I gave you walkthrough of each and every section that is available in the Tricentis test automation cloud-based tool. And what are all the different options available? And then very high level I covered about each and every option, right? So because this session is related to modules, let's start creating modules. For that, first you need to go to test case. If you see on the left pane, click on test cases. As soon as you click on test cases, you'll be landing onto this page, okay? Create your first test case. So click on create test case button. As soon as you click on create test case button, you will get an option to create new module. So why do you need to create new module? We need to create new modules to capture your controls, the technical information of your application so that you can use the technical information of each and every control to automate your test cases. Okay. So before you click on new module, let me introduce you to the application that we are going to consider okay this is your web shop application where it is i uh, it is like same like e-commerce application where you can shop your computers electronics apparels digital downloads and everything okay so this is the application that we are gonna automate in our uh, future sessions also okay so now to capture or to scan the controls or to create the module i'm gonna consider the same application okay let's go back to application now so to scan the controls, you need to click on new module, right? And this will show you two options, either download launcher or start the scanner, right? In my previous session, we already downloaded the launcher. So once I complete an introduction to this tool, we also downloaded the launcher. Okay. So that's why we need not to download again. So I'm going to simply select start the scan. So as soon as I click on start the scan, it will, it, will, it opens you a command prompt. 
okay but if you are clicking on start the scan for the first time it will ask you to provide the credentials one more time so when you log into this tool right you provided the credentials right the same credentials you have to provide one more time and then let me click on the scan okay so for me it's not going to ask me to provide credentials again okay because already i provided credentials so once you provide your credentials it downloads the tbox engine in my case it's directly starting the x scan right but in your case it downloads it actually shows you downloading tbox components it's going to download all the x scan related components to your local machine because this is your cloud based system right so you don't have all the x scan related components so it's going to download all the x scan related components to your local machine okay so in my case it is directly starting the x scan okay so once it start the x scan it's going to land on to the page where you can select the target application in our case web shop correct so it, you need to select the target application that you would like to scan okay so give me a moment so it's going to start your x scan okay so now you need to select the application that you would like to scan so this is my demo web shop right i'm going to select that application and then click on scan so as soon as you click on scan it lands you to the x x scan window and that is where we'll be capturing all the controls okay so as soon as you land on to x scan first you will be landing on to basic view right and simply you can select the control that you would like to add see let's say i want to add username or email edit box just click here see it added the control and let me explain advanced view okay in the advanced view you are going to see all the controls on your screen see these are all the controls on your screen but the only so either you can directly select the control from here see if i want to add password i can add the password or if i want to remove the password i can remove the password because it's a long list it's very confusing for you to select the corresponding control and also if you see the control is having the image also so these are all the links this is your button correct this is this is your button and these are all the your uh, links right it shows you the image of your control also okay and if you want to highlight the control on the screen you can simply let's say i want to highlight this click on highlight so let me show you see it highlighted the books let's say if i select this login it highlighted the login correct uh let's say select this correct it is highlighting see email it is highlighting this is your edit box so basically you can highlight the controls on the screen also so let me again go back to basic view okay and we all already added email right you can add password let me add remember me and let me also add forgot password link and login button okay so let's do one thing let's go to advanced view and let's add books here okay let's add books sorry in the advanced view uh see in the advanced view you cannot directly click on this in the advanced view you have to select on screen click on select on screen on screen and then select the control that you would like to add let's say i want to add books so if you see here if the control is not uniquely identified then that control will be highlighted in orange color 
so these are all not highlighted in orange color because this selected item is unique because books is not unique because see i have books here and i have books here also so there are two books right that's why this object is not uniquely identified so if you want to make this object uniquely identified there are multiple methods either you can select additional property that you would like this object or control to be uniquely identified let's say in my case let's if i select visible so now see this book is now uniquely identified that is one method or you can use identify method identify by method okay because identify by method you can identify the objects by image or by uh, anchor method so th there are different identification methods that i am going to cover in my upcoming sessions okay so in this case so now i don't want to add this books right so let's unselect this so let's go back to basic view okay so once you scan all your controls that are required so you can basically rename so make sure that the selected controls make sense you can basically rename these right email id sorry you can rename the controls also actually here see email or username you can simply rename this okay and you can rename your entire um, module that we are creating so this is what entire module name okay so i want to change the module name as webshop login okay and then once you complete scanning all your controls you can simply click on finish screen as soon as you click on finish screen you can go back to your system and here let's name this okay because we, we are creating a new module right so i can name this as session 02 modules i'm naming this test case okay so as soon as you i click on new module you landed here and i i can name this as session 2 modules and we clicked on new module and then we scanned so if you expand the scan modules now you should see all the modules that we scanned see if you click here this is your new module that you scanned right earlier this scan modules this is empty now you can see the module whatever i need renamed right demo webshop login so if you want to use this you can use this just drag and drop here so now let's say i want to use this to automate the test case see if you see right side build your test cases drag a building block from left panel and drop it here so this is what the new module that i scan drag and drop here simply see whatever i scanned i scanned my email email password password remember me remember me forgot password forgot password login that's it you can simply drag and drop your scanned modules and start automating your test cases simply you can start automating the test cases also you can use your predefined actions while automating your test cases predefined actions means these predefined actions are provided by Tosca. Okay, I'm going to cover all these things in my upcoming sessions. But hope you all understand how to create your new modules which carries the technical, technical information of your controls. How can you scan your controls by using XScan in cloud-based Tricentis test automation tool? okay so if you have any queries you can leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries hope you all understand the concepts of modules and x scan of tricentis test automation tool please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you